everyone, it's Paul Bertarelli reporting from the Aero Show in Friedrichshafen, Germany. I bet you've heard this. I bet you've even said it. 350,000 bucks for an airplane? What are these guys, nuts? If they just use the kind of technology they use in car manufacturing, it would only cost $30,000. Well, maybe. That's sort of the idea of the company behind me. It's a new French outfit called Elixir. And they intend to use high capacity carbon fiber molding of the sort that's used to build racing boats applied to airplanes. Let's take a look. So Elixir Aircraft has been funded four years ago in 2015 by S3 Engineers. I'm one of the co-founder, I'm Cyril Champenois, and Arthur and Nicolas, my colleague, were there at the origins. We are based in France, in west of France, La Rochelle, it's north of Bordeaux. So we have been in aviation and racing sailboat for several years before that. We used to build carbon sailing boats and as well carbon aircraft. And when you realize that uh, sales boats are so advanced compared to what you can see in aviation, we decided that we had to do something. And uh, thinking about it, we decided to bring a fourth generation aircraft that will be safer, that will have a very low operating cost, and that will be versatile to do everything you want. So thinking about it for safety and low cost, looking at all the aircraft around us, we decided to select each category by um, history. The first was wood and canvas, then metallic, and that's what we call black metal. You copy in composite the metallic parts. All of those aircraft are quite complex. They are made of tens of thousands of pieces. And to guarantee the level of safety, this is where your mechanics, where the pilots have to take care and have to spend time. And that's why the uh, operating cost is increasing so much because guys are working a lot on those aircraft to be sure that everybody is safe. So we decided to reduce that complexity and very easily to reduce complexity you just remove all the parts. You just make sure that there is the fewer parts possible, no assembly, no bonding, no rivet, no corrosion because this is always and always where uh, problems occur. So uh, we decided to use a technology that has been used in racing sailboat for years which is called one shot which allow to produce big composite park without any pieces in it, one big piece. The wing, for example, is one piece from one wing tip to the other wing tip. There is no ribs, there is no stringers, and there is no spar. It's one single piece, and the skin is carrying the loads. This is a box structure, and instead of doing a box, we have done a box with an airfoil shape, that's it. <laughs> Giving more details about the wing, which is the, uh, the major part on the aircraft. So one single piece from one wing tip to the other wing tip. No spar, no ribs, no stringers. How are we doing that? So the idea is to make a box, box structure. It's in something that has been seen for long years in aviation, but we were bonding ribs on it and then bonding uh, skin on it. It's complicated, you can make mistakes mistake in production, in maintenance. So we decided to make directly the box to the shape of an airfoil and thanks to the one-shot production process we can make it in one operation, you cure it in an autoclave and you get a wing in the end that is finished ready to, ready to paint. Sorry. So the idea is to then replicate that process to all parts of the aircraft. So the fuselage, the ailerons, the flaps, the horizontal tails are made in one shot. So it means that Taking into account the major parts, you have 10 major parts in the aircraft, and that's it. Then you put the fuel systems, the engines, controls, and that's it, you are done. So we have less than 1,000 parts in the aircraft compared to the 15, almost 20,000 in most of the aircraft already on the market. The aircraft is a carbon aircraft made of pre-preg, supplies have already the resin inside and you cure it in the autoclave. So it means that you, we are using molds, two side molds, where we put the plies in the box, in the mold, and the clever and the secret, industrial secret is there because we are able to put everything in position, close everything, while all the plies are doing the turnaround, the structure outside and inside, in the right position. So this is the major innovation. This is the first time it has been done on an aircraft and we are quite proud of it. So the Elixir has been designed with uh, two versions of engines. 100 horsepower from Rotax, 
912IS, so injection engine, and a 915IS, which is 100 horse, uh, 140 horsepower uh, turbocharged. So with a small engine, you are flying 130 knots in cruise, 70% of power at uh, flight level 65. If you reduce power, like in basic training, you consume 10 liters power, 12 liters power, at cruise speed, you are at 15 liters power. And because we have 110 uh, fuel tank uh, capacity, you can fly up to seven hours. And it's a sing single fuel tank, so no need to switch, no need to make calculation. With a big engine, uh, performances are quite good in terms of speed. It's up to 160 to 170 uh, knots for cruise speed at 75%. It's estimation because uh, we haven't fly the big engine yet and uh, we're expecting a four to five hours endurance since it's consuming between 20 to 25 uh, liters per hour. So two versions, one more for the basic up to um, the advanced training for uh, beginning of CPL for example. In terms of payload, 285 kilogram, uh, and 280 kilograms, sorry for that, and uh, it represents two uh, big baby of, it, of 86 kilograms, 25 kilograms of luggage and a full fuel tank, so 110 liters. Our target price is far below everything you can uh, see in learning and uh, flight school aircraft. 150,000 euros excluding VAT for the small engine, 180,000 euros for the big engines. And operating cost, 40 euros per hour compared to 140 euros for big aircraft.